and uh, I'm demonstrating uh, the uh, simulator of the quantizer of SIGSOLI. There were 72 similar devices in SIGSOLI and this is taking an analog signal and digitizing it into one of six levels. I'm here in Mons, Belgium, and I'm here for the Histocrypt, the annual event about the history of cryptography. My interest lies mainly with the Turing bomb, and perhaps in general the, the mechanization or, uh, of breaking ciphers and analyzing ciphers. So, um, the uh, British Turing bomb and the US Navy Turing bomb is something we have been looking into for a, for a bit and we have ongoing work in, in this area as well. I got invited at IscoCrypt uh, because I solved the uh, Ron Rivers uh, LCS35 uh, cryptographic challenge and I just did a presentation uh, about uh, LCS35 and uh, the ceremony for uh, the opening of the time capsule uh, that, that just happened at the MIT one month ago and, um, and if anybody is interested uh, you can find the PDF online uh, about my talk with a few links to the, the old problem, the new problem. And
Hello, this is Johan Dame from the Mundanium in Mons, where I gave a presentation on the making of Rijndaal. So this, this is a, a facsimile that I made by myself. It's uh, uh, the Occultus Literarum Notus, which was, was, which was written by Gian da Battista della Porta. And at home I have the original one, but of course for this conference here um, I, I cannot bring my original book, so I thought, but it could be interesting for people to see it. So what I did, I uh, printed that book uh, with, a, with a laser printer and then I owned the pages with, um, with tea and then I actually I, I bound it by myself, so it is bounded with um, stitch and needle and yeah, this is the final result. I'm René Zandbergen and I'm here at the Histocrypt 2019 where I give a presentation about the Voynich Manuscript. It's one of the interesting topics of historical cryptography and it's something that has interested me for almost 25 years now. <laughs>